the Oplet is an improved version of Ukrainian T-84 main battle tank, fitted with new turret. Sometimes it is referred as T-84 Oplet. Overall in terms of protection, firepower it is broadly similar to the Russian T-90. The Oplet was officially adopted in 2000. Only 10 of these tanks were produced in 2001 and delivered to Ukrainian armed forces. Ukrainian army never ordered this tank in large numbers due to funding problems and relies aging T-64 main battle tanks and its upgraded versions. Currently its improved version, the Oplet M is in production, which is being built in small numbers for Thailand. In 2003 to 2004 an unspecified number of Oplet tanks were delivered to USA for trials and evaluation. Some sources report that only a single tank was delivered to the USA. A total of six surviving Ukrainian Oplet tanks were repaired and refurbished. Status of remaining for tanks is unclear, but these tanks were certainly not operational. In 2018 Ukrainian team with Oplet tanks took part in Strong Europe Tank Challenge. Other participants included American M1A2 SEP V2, British Challenger 2, French Leclerc, German Leopard 2A4, 2A5, and 2A6 tanks, Swedish STRV-122. However in this competition Ukrainian team lost to all other participants and took the last place. It was mainly due to numerous reliability issues. So the Ukrainian Oplet proved to be inferior to modern Western main battle tanks due these reliability issues. In terms of overall performance it is rather comparable to the Russian T-90 tank. On the other hand the whole concept behind the Oplet was rather successful, but the faulty components let the side down. This Ukrainian tank has a much smaller profile than most Western main battle tanks. So it is a smaller target on the battlefield. Protection of the Oplet has been improved over the previous T-84. The tank has a welded hull and turret with built-in NOS explosive reactive armor. The tank is fitted with Stora, one countermeasures system which reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided missiles with semi-automatic guidance. As usually vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. There is a laser warning system, which automatically turns the turret towards the source of the laser beam. The Oplet tank delivered to USA was fitted with a Drost active protection system. The Oplet is armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun. It is compatible with all Soviet to Russian 125mm tank ammunition. This tank is fitted with a carousel-type autoloader, similar to that of the Soviet and Russian tanks. For types of different rounds can be used. Typically these are APFSDS, HEAT, HEFRAG, and guided missiles. A total of 28 rounds are stored in the autoloader and ready to use. The rest are stored inside the hull. The Oplet tank is capable of launching anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary rounds. It is either a Soviet 9K-119M Reflex, Western reporting name AT-11 Sniper B, or its Ukrainian version. At the time of its introduction fire control system of the Oplet was superior to that of contemporary Russian tanks. It has a thermal imaging site, which can detect targets at a range of 4.2 to 4.5 kilometers. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Also there is a roof-mounted remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun. It has an effective range of 2 km against air and ground targets. This machine gun is operated by vehicle commander. This main battle tank is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. This tank is powered by 6 TD-2 turbocharged multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 1200 horsepower. The Oplet is much faster than the Russia's T-90. Its transmission has four reverse speeds. So it can travel backwards with a maximum speed of 35 km per hour. That's opposed to reverse speed of 5 to 7 km per hour on the previous Soviet tanks. This factor becomes increasingly important in modern combat. This allows to drive out of the cover, fire a shot or two and return to cover driving backwards while the most protected areas of the tanks are still facing forward to the enemy. The tank is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. This tank has a deep wading kit and can ford water obstacles up to 5 m deep. The Oplet is fitted with a self-entrenching blade and can prepare itself for defensive emplacement. This tank can be airlifted by an AN-124 or similar heavy military transport aircraft. 
In 2022, during the Russian invasion in Ukraine, at least one Oplet tank was used by Ukrainians against the Russian forces. The same, or another Ukrainian Oplet tank was spotted in 2023.